Hi there and welcome. Today I will show you how to make a plate. And this is really easy. The size of the plate is something you have to decide yourself. If you make a smaller plate, you can make it thinner. If you make a bigger one, make it a little bit thicker. Because a thick plate will keep its shape when it's dry. My plate is going to be a serving plate, perfect for salads, barbecues, etc. So I use a rolling pin and a chipwood board in the bottom. And I turn my clay many times and try to keep the clay even in thickness. I try to control my clay by rolling from different sides this way the clay will grow in the way I want it. So it covers the plate that I'm going to use later. If you have a really big piece of clay, sometimes it's enough by just lifting it from the surface. You don't have to turn it every time. When the slab is thick enough, and big enough for a plate, it's time for the next step. I use a piece of fiber cloth, you can also use cotton if you want to, and cover the piece of clay. This will protect the clay from sticking to your plate. As you can see, my plate is made of wood, so I have to cover it in plastic, otherwise I will ruin my plate. I can use my fiber cloth to pull the clay to the right spot, and uh, then I use a small turntable. I start carefully turning the plate around. And, on the same time, I use a needle tool to cut the extra clay away. And I try to keep the same angle on my needle. With a wet sponge, I make it really smooth, so that I can draw some lines on my plate. I was not really satisfied with the cutting, so I clean up the edges a little bit more. And now we come to my absolute favorite part of making a plate. When you can make some decorations on it. My favorite tool is a silicone tip brush. And it's really easy to use on clay. So I try to make some decorations. And usually I just draw these one liners with no beginning or end. Usually when I draw, I don't think about what it's going to look like so much. I just let my brush do the work. So this is now the decoration that's going to be all around the plate. But I need some more. So I will make a tree in the middle.
The easiest way to use these silicone tip brushes is to keep the brush straight up because then it can turn to all the different places and it's really fun to make these ornaments. I don't know about you, but at least I have a really hard time to stop in time. So many times I just overdo it. But uh, one little bird and my plate is done. After this, I will leave it to dry, bisque fire it, glaze it, and then put it in the last fire. And then my plate will be ready. But one more thing, I need to put a maker's mark on my plate. So I use a stamp that I made and put it there. I will show you some details how it might look when it's ready. These are some other plates that I made and you can only see the details when I used my silicon tip brush. So I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, this is actually a really nice way to make a perfect plate for your friends and family and for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye bye.